good day to you all. Today being Saturday, the 2nd of April, I'm showing you for the first time my State pipe which I deep cleaned recently and I've chosen a Balkan mixture tobacco which is a house blend which goes under the name Covent uh, which was put together at Seeger and Snuff Tobacconist at Covent Garden in central London going to fire this up if I can. It's a little bit windy where I'm sitting, yet I believe I will manage it. I've already had it going earlier. I've just refilled, I just refilled the bowl and I'm ready to enjoy another smoke now so I'll fire it up down here just across from the allotments sitting among the felled trees to this wooded area on what is a gloriously sunny spring day 
here in London. feeling of a day off from work uh, my work situation of late has picked up most of last week I was working down at a site at Lincoln Inns Fields And I had a very good week. Yesterday, the 1st of April 2016, uh, marked a milestone in my life. It was exactly 30 years ago, in 1986, that I began work at Cashel House of Terror in Connemara, County Galway. Uh, my position there was as a chef and, and on that particular occasion I met for the first time Bernie Conroy, uh, who originally came from Kana and who worked at the Cashel House Hotel as a waitress. And on that particular day, she played a trick on me, uh, making out that I wasn't meant to work that day, yes, the following day, and I fell for this April Fool's trick momentarily by saying, no, no, I'm sure it's today I'm meant to start work. And she said, fooled you, fooled you, April fool. And from that day, we got on very well together, Bernie and I. And spoke with Bernie in recent years on the phone when I traced her to where she lives now in Castle Bar, County Mayo, 
initially I had phoned her mother in Kana inquiring of Bernie herself and after explaining how I knew Bernie and Mary her mother told me where she was and she gave me her number and uh, I phoned Bernie and she was surprised to hear from me and we had a we had a good chat of course all these years I've held a place in my heart for Bernie and uh, I think that came across in the conversation and she was assuring me that oh you know I'm happily married and I have three children now and at that stage Bernie uh, was a, a born-again Christian and I relate the story of how I got mixed up with born-again Christians back in the 80s the late 80s here in London and how I had met them and had finished with them in the space of three weeks they effectively threw me out of the flat where they took me in as a lodger and they were trying to convert me and everything and I certainly wasn't going to have that and Bernie felt they were harsh and that as born-again Christians they had treated me unfairly but I was very pleased to have caught up with Bernie again that was in 2010 and in total we spoke about half an hour on the phone to each other and then said goodbye and hung up on each other and that was it so Bernie the life is as good for you today as it is for me and certainly I'm at a very good place in my life now thanks to teaching of people like Barry Long and Eckhart Tolle who are both spiritualists Barry Long being deceased quite a number of years now he died in 2003 And Fred Luskin of Stanford University in America has also given 
very worthwhile talks on the importance of forgiveness and he has talked about the science of happiness also and these three individuals have had, have helped, helped me with my own spiritual well-being and I see it as a very important part of my life now. Along with enjoying the smoking of my pipes, which is an activity I believe has saved me um, over the years. These pipes I have are a great companion to me. I can sit with them and enjoy them for hours on end. And of course, I enjoy fine sunny weather like today. So, to all my fellow pipe smokers in the world, wherever you are, enjoy your day. Happy puffing to you. Thanks for watching. Of course, all my talking, this pipe has gone out, and in a moment I'll fire it up again. Take care. Bye for now.